Hello friends, today uh, we are going to see the concept of SOMA in data power. SOMA stands for SOAP Oriented Appliance Management Protocol. The SOMA uh, is utilized by uh, other different IBM products which are used to um, <coughs> which are used to uh, mainly administer uh, data power remotely. For example, WAMC, which is WebSphere Appliance Management Console, is a product from IBM which uses uh, SOMA for, uh, for uh, administering many uh, data power appliances simultaneously. SOMA is also utilized by uh, a WebSphere, uh, WebSphere Console as well. So uh, SOMA is uh, an important concept in data power. So let's uh, let's uh, start uh, with the SOMA and let's find out how to utilize SOMA to do uh, the monitoring of the data power uh, remotely. To get started with, you need to uh, first understand what is uh, SOMA. Hold on for a second. Yeah. So <clears throat> as I said, SOMA stands for SOAP uh, Oriented Appliance Management Protocol. Data Power provides a set of web services which, which can be uh, which which are utilized and which can be invoked remotely to uh, uh, to get the state of the data power. Not only it provides the state of the data power, it can only be uh, it can also be utilized to uh, to uh, perform administrative functions like creating domains, uh, creating taking backups, and uh, doing a restore. All these kinds of management activities can also be performed remotely using the SOMA. So. Where is the uh, service located in the data power? As I said, this is a set of web services and these are SOAP-based web services. To access these web services, you need to first download the visual and associated files from the data power. Go to the file management and inside the store directory, you have these files, app management protocol v2, v3, and this is v1. I prefer to download uh, the uh, v3, the latest version of this uh, visual file. These, uh, these are the files which describe the web services which are inbuilt in data power and which you can utilize to uh, harness the power of uh, uh, SOMA. So you need to download two files from here. One is uh, this visual file. So I'm saving it. Um, I'll say go to desktop and create a new folder here. And inside it, this is a visual file. And you need to download the associated XST as well. Without XST, things will not work. Okay, now that you have downloaded it, all you need to uh, utilize this Vistal file to invoke the web services, but uh, this will not work by default. You need to do some additional configuration in data power uh, so that SOMA can work. Type in XML management. Here we are. This is the XML management interface. By default, it is disabled, but you need to enable it. To enable it, you need to provide two things. First is the local IP address. You can see the local IP address is provided here, and a port number. Any port number can be provided, but 5550 is by default supplied here. You need to uh, make it enable, then click apply, and then OK. That's all that you have to do to enable the XML management interface. Now, that we have downloaded the file and we have enabled the XML management interface, all we need to do is to load our Vistal file into uh, our compatible tool and get us started. But before I do that, one important thing. Let's open the Vistal file. I'm opening it in a 
suitable editor and here we are scroll down all the way to the bottom and here you see you can see <coughs> that uh, address is defined in a little bit strange way this is host and this is port host and port needs to be supplied here what host and port we should supply go to the XML management interface copy the local IP address and put it here go back copy the port number and put it here save it and that's all you are all done so now we are going to load this file into a compatible uh, tool you can write down your own own tool uh, which can invoke these uh, uh, web services on demand or whenever required uh, uh, at a regular frequency or whatever is the, your requirement i'm going to test these services from a tool called soap ui which is a popular tool so i'm creating a project here like soma test and i'm browsing the wisdom go to my desktop and here we are that is the whistle only need to select the wisdom okay and here are the definition of the web services so these web services are all here and you can see that these are all not only getters but there are setters as well so you can get the device state as well as you can set some of the function set some of the um, things in the data power as well even reboot is also provided so as i said soma was created for uh, remotely managing the device and hence all the uh, this api practically provides you all the features so that you can um, utilize it and you can uh, you can monitor your data power remotely using soap protocol let's do it let's first find out invoke it I'm invoking the get device info request because it is the simplest and here I'm not providing any credential let's see if it works or not oops access is denied so let's provide the proper credentials to it here we go you got the result set so now you know how to use the soma thanks for watching and keep watching my uh, channel i will come up with the uh, other concepts of uh, data power very soon thank you very much